If you're selling mugs in your print-on-demand business, then you probably already have some great designs that you could add to a companion product, and that is travel mugs or tumblers. We have three samples here from Printify to take a look at. We'll do a product review of each of them. We'll talk about pricing, we'll talk about the design process, and some ideas for adding these to your print-on-demand business. Before we get started, I do wanna mention that Printify is the sponsor of this video and they provided these samples so that we could do this review. All right, so as I mentioned in the opening, I personally just love selling mugs in my Etsy print on demand business. And I've made a few videos about selling mugs, including a review video where I took a look at some samples from Printify of regular ceramic mugs. So definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. But in this video, we're gonna focus on sort of a companion product that I think offers a great opportunity for you to maybe make some additional sales especially if you have designs that are already selling on regular ceramic mugs. And that would be these guys right here. And these aren't the only options you have. There's actually several options in the Printify catalog, but these represent three different styles of insulated tumblers or travel mugs. There's a few different terms that you might use for them. So first up, let's do the review of each of these we'll talk about the print quality, the product quality, and then we will talk about the design process and some ideas. So first up, we've got this stainless steel insulated 20 ounce tumbler from Spoke Custom Products. The base color of this tumbler is white. There is only one base color option, but that is because it is a full wrap print. If you had a design that had a solid color background or was a solid pattern, then you would get full coverage of the whole tumbler, which is nice. And that's why I wanted to get a sample of this one because there are not too many options uh, in the Printify catalog that provide 100% coverage with your design. And I went with a seamless pattern on this one, just some tropical leaves. So this tumbler can work well with both types of designs ones that maybe are transparent and you want to see the white background as well as your designs that have a solid color or full print. I'm happy with the way this print came out. The lines on all of the leaves in the design are nice and crisp. If you look across the top edge as well as at the bottom, there is very little variation in how much it overlaps. So that means it applied nice and level, nice and even. But let's talk about the seam for just a second. So I'll show some close up footage of the sample and I'll put up an image of the mock-up that shows the seam so you can see what those two look like. The mock-up photo where the two edges of this seamless design meet make it look like it is very, very minimal, very hard to notice where that seam is. But in real life, there is a line, almost like a white line where the seam is and the two images kind of blur together from the two edges. So the seam is definitely more noticeable in real life the way this came out compared to what the mock-up image shows. So just keep that in mind if you're doing a full wrap solid print, there will be a visible seam on the design. All right, lastly, just on this product itself, I have to say this is seems like a, a pretty high quality tumbler with one caveat. So as far as the body of this in general, this is very solid. It feels like you could use this thing as a weapon if you wanted to. So what's the one caveat? Well, it's the lid. If you were using this tumbler at home, maybe in your backyard while you're sitting outside enjoying some time outside, I could Absolutely see using this tumbler to keep a nice cold beverage or a, a hot beverage if you're outdoors in the winter time. However, the lid is just open. It does not have a closure. So that would make it really hard for me to recommend this as something you take in the car with you or something that you travel with. So that's really my only criticism of this product. It seems like a very high quality tumbler. It's just, I wish you could close the lid somehow. All right, now let's talk price. So that's my only other criticism of this product is that the price is a little bit on the high side, but the price from Spoke Custom Products on this is $15.99 and that is the Printify premium price. The shipping cost is $6.09 currently in the US. So that gives you a total cost of $22.08, which means to get a profit margin of 28, 29%, you're talking about a retail price of $35.99, at least for the Etsy marketplace, because we have to account for the Etsy fees. And a 28% profit margin on this would be a profit of $10 per sale. And of course, that's the total price that you would need, $35.99, so you could absolutely charge $29.99 and then do say a $6 shipping charge. However, if you do sell designs on these that warrant a higher price, like personalized designs, I could definitely see getting $35.99 for one. 
All right, our next product up is a 12 ounce wine tumbler from print provider Chill on Printify. Now these have sort of a modified full wrap style print. And by modified, I mean it does go all the way around and it does go to the top of this white base area. However, it does not extend all the way down through the curved edge, the base of the actual tumbler. So it's not truly a full wrap. If you had a solid graphic, on this, you would still see some of this white bottom. I think these are a great option for just transferring your existing mug designs and offering them on a different product. And of course, any design that is themed about wine is a perfect fit for a wine tumbler. Now the print quality on this came out pretty good. I would say the quality of the book graphic actually looks a little better for some reason than the text. The text, if you get really close to it, has some fine lines through the color area of the print. But if you're looking at it from maybe the normal distance that you would be holding it in your hand, it's really not noticeable. The print does have a slight texture to it. It's not like the smooth full wrap of the tumbler from Spoke Custom Products. This has no texture to it at all. It's completely smooth. I just wanna point out, it does have a tiny bit of texture. In general, the product also feels very sturdy and I do appreciate the lid on this wine tumbler. And I specifically picked this one from Print Provider Chill because of this lid. There are a couple others available on Printify that have the open style lid that this tumbler has where there's no closure, but this one has the ability for you to close it by sliding this little cover. The pricing on this from Print Provider Chill is $11.49 with Printify Premium and the shipping cost is $5.39. So that's a total cost of $16.88 and with a 29% profit margin that would lead us to a total price of $27.99. And in my opinion that's a pretty reasonable total price especially because you can back out say $3 and charge $3 for shipping or even $4 for shipping and that would get your product price down to $23.99 or $24.99. Last up is an insulated water bottle from print provider WOYC or Who's On Your Case. I wanted a sample specifically of this product because it's different, of course, than the other two. It is a twist closure lid with a handle, and this comes in three different sizes. There's a 12 ounce, 18 ounce, which is this sample here, and then there's also a 32 ounce. There is only one base color, it is this white color, and you can do a full wrap. It does wrap all the way around. However, on all sizes, there is a little portion of the top where you will see the base white color. So in my opinion, that's really the only downside to this product that I see. But let's talk about the print quality and everything first. So I went with a simple line art style design for this because I thought it really worked well on the white background. And the print file is transparent everywhere. So that's why the base white color is showing through. And so I thought it was a really nice fit because there's no difference between the printed area and the little bit of white above the print area that would be showing. The lines all came out nice and crisp and it was applied evenly. So Overall, I'm very happy with the way that this came out. However, it's not gonna be perfect for all designs. If you had a solid color wrap that went all the way around, I do think it might look a little strange to have that little bit of white sticking out at the top. But other than that limitation, I'm actually quite happy with this product. It does feel pretty sturdy. You can definitely tell it's insulated. It doesn't feel like it's gonna dent super easily like some of those aluminum bottles do, but this is double wall stainless steel, so it should be more resistant to dents. The lid, even though it is plastic, twists on very easily easily and seems pretty sturdy. There is a rubber gasket in there to make a seal that won't leak, which I always appreciate. But once again, one other challenge I see with this product is the pricing. It's just a tad high in my opinion. However, if you offer all three sizes, the pricing on the smallest size or the lowest price is gonna be the one that customers see in search results. But this 18 ounce size has a price of $16.95 and the shipping to the US is $7.29. So the total price for this 18 ounce size is $24.24, which means you're gonna have to go with a retail price of at least $38.99, and that would only be a 27% profit margin or profit of about $10. And so you'd be talking probably a product price of $34.99 and a shipping price of $4 to $5. That's close. That's pushing it for me a little bit. I would like, again, to be able to sell this for $29.99. I think that'd be a good value for the quality of the product. But just as I mentioned with the other products, there are other options for water bottles in the Printify catalog. So if the pricing on this one is a little bit too high, in your opinion, then check out the other options they have. Because ultimately, I still think that adding insulated tumblers or travel mugs is a great option for your print-on-demand shop, especially if you already sell mugs. So let's talk more about the design process and some ideas. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the design process for these different types of bottles, as well as some general ideas of integrating them into your shop. As I mentioned, one of my favorite things to do with these products is to take a design that's already selling on regular style mugs and just 
add that design to another type of product, like one of these tumblers, travel mugs, whatever you want to call them. But which one I use kind of depends on the style of the design. For example, the 20 ounce tumbler that we looked at, if it is a full wrap style, like this one from Spoke Custom Products, the print area is going to look like this. It is a full wrap, as I mentioned. It shows you on the bottom of the screen, it's highlighted in green, basically, what all the print areas are. And here is just a quick preview view, which I, I showed a still image of before, where on the back, it gives you that sample of where the seams meet. So as we're designing this style, we might just want to keep in mind that the seam is likely going to be more visible in person than it is right now. You can also use this style to have a duplicated graphic on two sides like you would on a mug. Let me just show you an example of that. So we'll place that there, we'll duplicate it, we'll put it in an equivalent position on the other side. But if you do have a more vertical design that's not a full wrap, it can still work on this type of a product. All right, now your wine tumblers, pretty much all of the wine tumblers that are there, I think there might be three different print providers that offer a wine tumbler on Printify. The print area is going to look more similar to what you're used to for a mug, and that is one of the reasons why I think these are a great option to just add them to your existing listings, even within the same listing as your mugs as another option. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But this, for example, is a design that it, maybe if it wasn't about wine specifically, it's made as more of a mug style design, meaning it's something that you just put on both sides rather than a full wrap design. And again, Printify shows you the print area below on all sides of the product, just so you can see the printable area. Now, lining this one up is pretty easy if you make this style of design, because all you have to do is take your graphics and place them on either side and align them to the guides that are here. And if we look at the preview view of this one, it does come out quite accurate to the way that it actually came out. So I'm not concerned with the alignment based on the print area and the mock-ups compared to how it actually comes out. I think it comes out pretty nice. But I do want to quickly show you what I was talking about earlier as far as seeing the white base color, if, even if you do a solid graphic or a full wrap. And this is what it looks like in the preview. As you can see, of course, you still see that thin strip of stainless steel at the top because that's not part of the print area. But the print area stops where it starts to have that significant curve at the bottom at the base of the tumbler. So that will always be visible even if you have a solid wrap, full graphic around the whole thing. All right, lastly, the water bottle that we took a look at, this one also has more of a full wrap with just a little visible area near the top. And this is the print area for the 18 ounce size. Now, as I mentioned, this graphic is a transparent PNG that I just positioned so that it filled up most of the print area. And the preview got it pretty accurate to how it actually looks. However, I wanna point out the difference with the big size, the 32 ounce. If we shift over to those mock-ups, you'll see the print area is cut off a little bit lower on the bottle because this this size actually has more of a curve at the top, and so they don't apply the print to that area where there's that steep curve. So what you'll want to do if you offer all three sizes is use that option that Printify has where you can click on make a specific design for this size. So make sure you have all three sizes available here, then click on this blue little box, make a specific design for 32 ounce and make any adjustments that you need to make in the positioning and the sizing of the design just for that size so it looks consistent with the other two sizes. All right, so I mentioned adding an option for one of these types of tumblers or travel mugs to existing listings. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Of course, you can publish them as separate products because they're gonna have different keywords than what you have for mugs, right? You, you can use keywords that include travel mug, tumbler, things like that. So you probably still wanna publish them as separate products so that you can take advantage of the difference in the keywords, especially if you found in your research that people are searching for those phrases. If you're doing niche research for designs that you think you want to put on mugs, it's always worth also running the same keywords with travel mug and tumbler as the end of the keyword string in addition to mug, because there might actually be the same or more demand for those phrases, and there might also be lower competition. But if you also want to add one of these product options into your existing mug listings in addition to listing them separately, there is an easy way to do that by editing the variations in your Etsy listing. Now, the method for this is going to be exactly the same method that I showed in my video about adding multiple product options into one Etsy listing. 
So you can see the whole thing in detail by checking that video out. I'll link to it in the description and in the corner, and I'll kind of do the faster version of it here. Let's pretend that I've got this Dad Life mug here, and I currently offer this in two sizes. I have an 11 ounce and a 15 ounce regular white ceramic mug. But I also wanna offer this same design on the 20 ounce tumbler. So I've got that same design added here onto the two sides of my tumbler. And I would also likely be listing this separately, as I mentioned. So I'd go through this process the same as I would to create a standalone separate listing. As far as mockups go, if you have a product like this one where the only mockups Printify provides are on a plain white background, I do recommend creating your own mockups. There are a couple ways to do that. You can, of course, just download download these mockups and then use editing software like Photoshop or Canva to remove the white background and sort of place the object in some context. If you use Place It, Place It also has some Tumblr or travel mug mockups. Depending on the style that you're selling, they may or may not have a perfect match to the product. So just keep that in mind. You always want to use a mockup that's actually an accurate representation of the product you're selling. But anyway, getting back to this process. So what I would do is get it all created. If I'm going to publish it separately, I still publish it to Etsy and, and create that listing just as I normally would. But the key to adding this product into my existing mug listing is in the SKU number. So all we need to do is get the SKU number of this product and then paste it into our Etsy listing in order to add it to that existing listing. And then of course, we'll add the mockups and all that as well. You can find the SKU number right here in the Printify listing by expanding the section that has the product variants. For this product is really easy because there's only one. There, there's only one size, there's only one color. Select it and copy it. It will copy the whole thing even though it looks like it's cut off. All right, so now we're back in our Etsy listing where we have our 11 ounce and our 15 ounce mug size variations already listed. Now, in order to add this, we are gonna have to sort of wipe these out or Etsy is gonna wipe them out when we make the change that we need to make here. So we do want to make sure that we also know where to go and get these SKU numbers. If you want to, you can actually copy these right here and paste them into like a notepad. So let's go to edit variations. The reason that we have to wipe these out is because we have to change the variation that's here. Right now, the only variation that that it's giving me is the ability to add fluid ounces. That's how it was created. So I'll be able to add 20, for example. Now I have an option for 20 ounces, but if I type any custom text in there, it's not gonna allow it. It's only gonna accept a number. And 20 ounces is not a good enough description of the product that I'm adding. So I'm going to delete that variation that's there and change it to a custom variation, which is the very last option on the list. It just says create a new variation. So I'm going to change this one. You can name it anything you want. I'm gonna call it type and size and then click on add and that will add your variation for type and size. Now you wanna check off the three boxes here, prices, quantities, and SKUs all vary by type and size. So now we can add our three variations. So I added two variations here, ceramic mug 11 ounce, ceramic mug 15 ounce. And now I'm gonna add a third variation for steel tumbler 20 ounce. Now you do have to keep this to 20 characters or less, so you may have to play around with the words that you use, but steel tumbler fit in there at 20 ounce. And so now I've got three custom variations that exactly match the products that are gonna be in the listing. So now I can click save and continue. All right, so now I've got the three variations that I need. However, as I mentioned, it wiped all the information out. So I also still have to re-enter my pricing, which, so now I just need to enter the price for the steel tumbler. And here is one important thing. Make sure that this pricing is gonna work out the same as where you have it listed separately. Now this listing has my mug shipping profile on it, which has a $4 shipping charge currently. And I decided that I'm okay with a price of $34.99 total for this steel tumbler. So my, my product price is $30.99. But if you have this steel tumbler also listed as a separate product in your shop, make sure the pricing works out the same. You don't want to be charging somebody more in one place than the other. Remember, I copied the SKU numbers for the mugs before they got deleted. So now I can replace those, get those put in there. There we go. And now I just need to go back to Printify and recopy the SKU number for the tumbler and put that one in there. So we'll just pretend that I did those last couple of steps there with the mockups in the description, but just to show you what it looks like in the listing, under type and size, we now have an option here for 11 ounce, 15 ounce, and the steel tumbler 20 ounce. And so assuming I did have the right mockup photos and the right description in there, now I've got a third option where they can buy this design on a different product other than just the mug and they did not have to leave this listing. 
All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found this information helpful. Let me know in the comments if you did find it helpful or if you have any questions about selling bottles and tumblers in your Etsy print on demand shop. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you did find the video helpful so YouTube can show it to more people and subscribe to the POD Insights channel if you haven't already so you can be notified when I come out with future videos. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Thanks everybody. See you next time.